Let's see you try the water technique. The sky is high, the cloud is low. But my water technique is hard to beat. It originally is something that we kind of bought what other people said about us, but now we do that to ourselves. Why swim baits? I ask myself that all the time. But jokes aside, the first year that I decided to dedicate myself to throwing nothing but big baits is because I saw what guys in the area were doing. Tom put me on to them. I, I saw what he was doing with them. So I had beginner's luck. The first year I, I started throwing big baits, I caught more five pound fish that one year than I did my entire life fishing conventional up to that point. I know some guys are thinking five pounds. You, you, some of you guys got to remember we're up here in New England. Our state record is 10 pounds, eight ounces, and that is a 56 year old record. So a lot of us Northeast guys, we gauge our season on how many fish over five pounds we caught. I at least consider a five pound fish in New England a big fish. I consider a six pound fish a giant. I consider a seven plus in New England, for most guys, a fish of a lifetime. There are some hammers up here where that, that's almost a regular, but for your average weekend swim baiter up here, five pounds is a decent fish. So after having a season like that, I was all in from there on out. Uh, we started out as just kind of filming us fishing and something to look back on, you know, like an old photo book. You know, you pull out those old photos every four or five years and kick back and amuse yourself with them. But I always wanted to be like a cameraman for the Discovery Channel when I was a kid. That obviously didn't pan out, but uh, Tom's got a creative side. He's deep in the photography, so I'm trying to keep get better and better at it. But it didn't start off like that. We just started putting the content out and it is what it is. And then guys started hitting us up, you know, what gear you guys use and what, how do you fish that bait like that? So we're like, why don't we start talking in our videos? Seems like maybe people want to hear us talk to our surprise, but why not record my experiences on the water as I'm trying to learn how to throw swim baits? So that's another reason is I'll learn so much from watching my own footage back. I'm learning that there are a lot of things that I suck at. I learn what I'm good at. I learn about bad habits. One I picked up recently is I noticed I'm on the trolling motor way too much. Sometimes I'm, I'm, I'm just tapping the trolling motor for absolutely no reason, like it's second nature. And that's probably killing a lot of bites for me. So I'm gonna be mindful of that moving forward try and stay off the damn thing, maybe use my uh, Tetman Coda talons a little bit more often. I'm also learning that I'm fishing way too fast in cold water. I'm not saying I'm fishing fast, I, I'm fishing slow, but I'm not fishing slow enough. I know that, so I'm gonna try and get better at that as well. Yeah, there's definitely pros and cons to making the videos. I mean, I talked about some of the pros already about learning what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong. Pick up little things that I think I could have done better, making adjustments, stuff like that for the next time I go out. Also, it might sound kind of corny, but I've met a lot of great people through the Swimbait channel that we started. I have a lot of guys that I consider close friends now because of this. I'm kind of antisocial by nature, so this has kind of helped get me out of that a little bit, which is good. Um, as far as the cons go, biggest thing, obviously we're risking burning our spots by putting footage of us on the internet. But I have this theory where if you recognize the body of water we're fishing, you already know about the spot. I mean, maybe you don't know the caliber of fish that are, that's in that spot, 
But again, to me, I think a lot of the bodies of water around us up here in New England have the good fish in them. It's just a matter of catching them. What's next? We got some more videos in the pipeline. We're gonna do another self-scrutiny featuring Tom McIntosh. I would really actually like to venture out with this kind of series and maybe do other New England anglers, but that's definitely easier said than done, so I don't know. We're always looking to do collaborations. We did OD, we did Lanciati, and we did LFOD, so we're gonna hopefully keep that going. We keep throwing around this idea of doing a, a swim bait swap up here in New England. So if you have any interest in that, hit us up in the comments because we're trying to gauge what the interest would be. We're just kind of kicking around the idea, but if that interests you, let us know. But we enjoy making the videos. So if you guys keep liking the content and supporting the channel, we're, we'll keep making it. Music is life, I ain't in the fashion of ice. I ain't in the chain snatch, it ain't in the smack in the white. Fan supported, don't ever ask him the price. If you do, you can't afford it, you better ask an advice. Stick to the point, if I ever had me a knife, y'all gas. Better hope I don't ever have me a likes. Meth, not the type you do in the pipe, but the type when you feel it, you know I'm doing it right. You know I spit it, but hate the love to it. It. They criticizing the lyrics, guess everybody's a critic Look, I push the limit while rappers is pushing gimmicks I use it to push my pen and then add it into the premise hook Y'all, still talk about it and I still live it Underground without a shovel and still dig it It's always been about the struggle, y'all just didn't get it My hood trouble if y'all don't live it and don't visit And you know the penalty for that? What penalty? The penalty is death